affordable hydrating barrier support mist please count me in hey everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here hey my name is mo i'm a pharmacist toxicologist and safety assessor in this channel we love to talk about skincare ingredient and their safety and i try my best to provide you with the most up-to-date information so you can use your personal care product with peace of mind so if that sounds interesting to you please don't forget to subscribe and join my community so yes, I know I've been away for a long time, but I'm trying my best to get back here on YouTube. As you know, long uh, format or long uh, content format takes a lot of time to produce, edit, and be ready for you to consume. So my apologies, as you know, I recently graduated and I'm now looking for a full-time job in the spaces and uh, fields that interest me. So it will be a slow comeback, but I'll try my best to provide you with the content that you need and to be as accurate as possible and as frequent as possible but please bear with me i have another interesting news i have a little bit of you life update before we can talk about this interesting product really quickly first i activated uh, my uh, super thanks and subscription on my youtube channel which are considered two ways to support my content directly so if you find my content really helpful uh, and uh, beneficial for you as you navigate the uh, cosmetic industry or the cosmetic field please free, feel free to support my channel directly i will use all the support that you guys you guys can give me to upgrade my equipment upgrade my content and be more frequent and also maybe hire someone to edit my video so i can produce more video for you guys uh, so all the support i will receive will go back to the channel the quality and the volume of the content i will produce the second update is that i'm currently working as a full-time as an educational manager for the skin master class platform skin master class platform a really quick introduction for it is actually an education platform that targets skin professionals who want to improve their knowledge about the cosmetic science the, we teach uh, the uh, professional about ingredients how to layer ingredients what type of ingredients are now uh, trending in the market the evidence behind those ingredients and when to use spe special uh, cocktail of ingredients to target a skin concern because you know there are thousands of ingredients popping out uh, here and there and it is targeted toward a skin profession like i said esthetician facialist and dermatologist and anyone who is uh, dealing with clients and want to upgrade their knowledge and it's a cpd certified in the uk program so you will get a, a two credit or three credit depending on the type of uh, program you, have, you decide to go this program as well allow you to have an access for a software that can help you with the consultation with your client it will help you create a profile allow allow you to create their skincare routine all in one place when you register for this program you will have access to that as well i have an affiliate link uh, to that skin um, uh, skin masterclass you can use it down below and you can see all the things that this program will provide you i am more uh, responsible on the education the pro the pro content that this platform provide so if you feel like you are a skincare professional that want to take their knowledge, their practice and their consultation to the next level, I would really suggest to try it out. Uh, I am, if you have any question, please let me know. Like I said, I am an education manager responsible for the content that this uh, skin platform is producing and to make sure that is scientifically accurate and up to date. And for other type of a question, let me know and I will ask the team and get back to you as soon as possible. So with that out of the way, sorry for the long intro, but I wanted to update you about what's happening in my life. Today we are going to talk about Geek & Gorgeous. It is a Hungarian-based uh, cosmetic brand and it is very well known in Europe and it's actually catching attention in the US as well. And they provide shipping, so no one gets scared. They provide shipping, I think, internationally, but I'm not sure. The, in the EU for sure, in the US for sure and it is kind of an affordable but with a twist of looking for ingredients that actually work well together and for formulation that doesn't feel basic, that doesn't feel cheap that's how I will describe them they send me a few products in PR but I just finished that it is empty, I hope I can have a little bit but to show you the texture but unfortunately zero I squeezed it in, I went through it super fast this product is called Liquid Hydration by Geek & Gorgeous. It is a face mist. 
It contains some key ingredients that we will go through really quickly and tell you about what kind of benefit you will expect and my experience. So looking at the ingredient list, we will go over them really quick. It has a simple ingredient list and it's not it's not something fancy, but I don't mean it in a bad way. I, I mean it in the most perfect way, to be honest. So the first humectant there is glycerin. As you know, glycerin is the old uh, and very well-known humectant. It is a smaller molecular size, so it's able to penetrate deeper compared to other humectants like hyaluronic acid because hyaluronic acid having all the spotlight right now, but a glycerin is as effective and even more effective in some studies in increasing the hydration of the stratum corneum and also reducing the trans water loss. So glycerin is the gold for me, for, for gold standard when it comes to uh, hydrate your skin. It is part of your uh, the natural moisturizing factor in your skin and the tolerability of it is unmatched. Some people unfortunately doesn't tolerate hyaluronic acid and that's totally fine. So glycerin is your second best option. So as you is glycerin is very high on the ingredient list. They, did, they didn't specify how much there is, but from understanding and looking at the ingredient list, I believe it is quite high. The second uh, important ingredient is sodium PCA. The sodium PCA is actually, PCA is a derivative of the amino acid proline that exists on our skin. Sodium uh, PCA is the salt of that acid, of that derivative amino acid, and it works by allowing your skin to deal with the hydration better, maintain the hydration on the top layer, doesn't allow it to evaporate really quickly, allow your skin maintain that hydration and organize it into the uh, skin barrier better. And sodium PCA was found to treat a lot of uh, skin conditions at very high concentration and as well with high concentration, I don't know the concentration, they didn't mention it, but sodium PCA at high concentration allow other humectant and other ingredient to penetrate the skin deeper so it works as a penetration enhancer. The main ingredient that is highlighted by the brand regarding this mist is actually panthenol which is a derivative of vitamin B5, the uh, alcohol version. So uh, v vitamin B5 is really, really well researched and has a good evidence of supporting your skin barrier and also maintaining hydration. So it works as a humectant, first of all. It helps with wound healing and barrier disruptions be because as you, like if you pick any uh, product that is focused on treating like diaper rash when it comes to uh, uh, kids irritated skin most of the time you will find panthenol in it and this mist has five percent it is very well researched concentration to be honest and actually on the website they provide you with the research they uh, relied on when uh, decided to go with five percent panthenol uh, panthenol like i said help also with wound healing so if the if the skin is dealing with acne scars any type of irritation like that it will be perfect for that. And uh, the issue, uh, the, uh, actually the advantage of panthenol, it is very well tolerated. Um, uh, irritation or side effect to it are zero to none. There are literally, uh, I, I don't believe I came across any case report that's uh, allergic to panthenol or uh, panthenol gave them an undesired effect. So it is going to be something that really soothes and hydrates the skin. So the mechanism of action of panthenol is uh, until now under studying and investigating, but there are some ideas that panthenol uh, help the elements of your skin barrier like the fatty acid, the cholesterol, the ceramides to um, intertwine better and travel better between the cells to increase and enhance the uh, function of the skin barrier. The actual specific mechanism of action, like I said, is still under investigation, but there is an idea and a quite strong idea that panthenol helps to do this. And it also works, like I said, as a, a moisturize, as a humectant, so moisturize and hydrate the skin, but also enhance the skin barrier for long-term hydration. Other than that, soothe the skin. It has some anti-inflammatory property or let's say anti-irritation properties. 
on top of that it is very well tolerated so that's why you found it in, in, in creams and ointment that are very uh, famous like papentine and other type of uh, uh, diaper rash cream because it is very well tolerated and you can apply it on a skin that a little bit irritated and this is actually what is it for the next ingredient in this formulation is diglycerin it's just a two glycerin molecule joined together it, it, it help with long lasting hydration better than glycerin but the hydration will stay on top because the molecular size is a little bit chunkier because there are two glycerins stick together and it is quite nice humectant next ingredient is urea and it's an amazing humectant it is part of your natural moisturizing factor and that's why they call this uh, uh, mist to contain 5% panthenol plus NMF or natural moisturizing uh, factors and it is all mixed together so urea sodium PCA PCA all of those are part of the natural moisturizing factor and they are naturally existing in your skin so urea can play an amazing role of hydrating the skin, maintaining the, the smooth feeling of the skin. At different concentration, this um, properties can change. At lower concentration, it's very humectant, very hydrating. At higher concentration, again, I don't know the actual concentration of it, but higher concentration, it has some chirolytic effect that help to dislodge the cells uh, from each other and help kind of like a mild exfoliating effect that is very tolerated by a lot of people. But I believe it is used at a concentration that is mainly focused on hydrating and supporting the skin barrier. Also, an interesting ingredient used is hydrolyzed rice protein. As we all know, proteins are chains of amino acids. Hydrolyzed means chopped up uh, protein of rice that al allow the extract to provide the skin with amino acid. Amino acid is again part of the natural moisturizing factor. Some amino acids are able to play a as a humectant other plays a role as supporting the barrier and supporting the lipid part of the barrier. Uh, the, some amino acid can be lodged in between the uh, cells and the uh, lipid matrix to help this, uh, the structure of the skin barrier to be more, uh, re, uh, more uh, let's say, resistant to stressors. So having this type of extract, the hydrolyzed rice protein, is actually a nice touch, I would say, to help with the skin barrier function. The last two ingredients I want to talk about is lactic acid, which is part of the family of alpha hydroxy acid. Lactic acid is actually also a part of the natural moisturizing factor in, in the skin, and it, pl it plays as a low concentration as, again, humectant. So as you can see, it is literally matches the name of the product liquid hydration because it's really focusing on hydrating the skin because when you hydrate the skin the barrier function will be optimal the skin natural exfoliation process will be optimal the skin ability to defend itself against many type of stressor will be at top uh, performance so hydration is very essential for our skin the next one is my one of my favorite allantoin i already broke it down it is one of the most amazing and underrated ingredient i believe for soothing and healing and wound healing actually as well if you want to watch the whole breakdown so i don't want to make this video 10 minutes you can watch it here i did a full live for 20 minutes breaking down allantoin percentages and the evidence so if you want to know more about allantoin please go watch that video so now really quickly to my experience it is one of the most easiest product to incorporate in any type of um, skincare routine as you know i love mist and thermal waters and sprays this uh, went into my skincare routine immediately i finished it in a less than a month uh, spraying it is super easy no greasy feeling the skin absorb it really well and it leaves like a silky feeling after so you can try it after washing your face a little bit of spraying and apply your active ingredient serums toners etc and it will work amazing to be honest this product is one of the few products that i don't have any uh, points that i want to pick on for this product it it is affordable it is accessible it is simple but in the best way possible it incorporates really quickly with your skincare routine i haven't noticed any unwanted effect with it and it's just like magic that something that you can ad get addicted to really quickly and just incorporate it and just be part of your basic skincare routine and if you want to get this product it is uh, quite affordable like i said below the 10 euros dollar mark 
and uh, you can order it from the US and Europe and it can be shipped uh, with I believe uh, if you ha if your order is more than 50 dollars or 50 euros this shipping will be free but make sure and visit the official website i have an affiliate link if you want to support my content when you use that link i will get a small commission for every order that you make and if you want to do that the link will be on the, the top link in the description so that was my video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i really hope to see you very soon take care and stay safe as always